Michael Weiss all the way down in sixth as the final skater takes the ice. Ilya Klimkin from Russia. The music Notre Dame de Paris. Klimkin, the junior world champion back in 1999. He did make the Grand Prix final last season. Placed fourth. Here's his quadruple toe combination. First, the quadruple. Oh, way far leaning forward uh, or backwards if you're talking about the direction that he's going in. And never did the triple toe part of it. This a triple axle. Notice how his face was turning out a little bit as he led into it, yet he had a very good control of it. Oh, but that was bad. That was bad. That's one of those disastrous moments when you either hit an edge or, or catch your foot and you go out and it's embarrassing, it's difficult to recoup from, and it's a mess. And it shouldn't be marked, it sh there shouldn't be a big mark off for that. Not when you can pull off a nice triple flip like that. You just finished a good uh, two other combinations and jumps. Like Matt Savoy, Ilya Klimkin battled a groin injury over the summer. He's had some injuries. And, you know, he was a guy who started out in 99 when he won the Junior World Championship. He did two different quads in one program, a lot of hoopla around that. He was the first guy ever to do that, so he was labeled a jumper right away and a guy with great potential athletically and hasn't quite gotten there much like Alexander Apt but much younger he's only 21. Interesting stepping forward into that instead of moving it backwards and that's a forward scratch spin the kind of thing that used to be uh, so highly respected and so brilliantly done. It's the only one I've seen in this competition so far, and it wasn't spectacular, but at least it was a forward scratch. Great line footwork. <laughs> and a Oh, that's it. A spread eagle that was done for years in the ice capades and the ice follies, always by comics. Uh, I mean, it was just a famous and favorite move. We never see those things anymore. And it's, it's, a, it's a pity. You do see it from him, some innovative moves from time to time. That's right. And his choreography is really quite int intriguing and off-center, and uh, that makes it enjoyable to watch. 21-year-old Ilya Klimkin of Russia. Now, look at this quadruple jump that he does here. First of all, a turn, step, toe pick, up, down, and landing. Too far forward, if you notice, the lean of the body was back where he was coming from, and it upset the balance and kept it from being, A, a two-jump combination, and B, from even a well-landed first one. Right here, he goes on into this combination. Oh, he was about to step into that uh, camel change camel, but the edge went right out, and that's where you fall on it and split your chin. <laughs> Everybody does it sooner or later. Four point See two. the scars on your Four chin. You <laughs> tell me you're in that club. <laughs> well, I, 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 I don't know a skater that isn't, because everybody sooner or later misses that forward edge into a camel spin. And uh, it can be disastrous. You usually fall flat on the stomach, and it hurts like the devil. <laughs> the wide range on those required elements, up to 4.9. And now the presentation marks for Ilya Klimkin. And they were more acceptable. Mm -hmm. 5.1 up to 5.6. It puts him in fifth place. So here are the standings after the short program. Timothy Gable, the U.S. champ, has the lead over Alexander Apt. And